Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Constance. Please consider subscribing. Today's video is going to be an Ulta haul and a beauty lish haul. I got a bunch of stuff from both of those places and I figured I would share it with you guys because you guys seem to like these types of videos. So if you want to see what I got, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the stuff from Ulta. Here's my little bag and then I got a box in the mail as well. So I did the order online and then pick up in the store, the curbside pickup. So the first thing I got was this Maybelline Fit Me foundation in matte and poreless. I'm in the color 220, but they changed their packaging. It's not in the glass bottle anymore. You have the option to get this. So I was super excited because I can just squeeze the foundation as opposed to dumping it all over the place because this foundation doesn't have a pump. I wish it did, but this is the next best thing. So I had to pick it up. Next, I got the Kylie Jenner palette in, what is this called? Oh, the bronze palette. Looks like this. And this was on sale for, I believe, $19. And it's regularly like 42 they were having i don't even know what the sale was for but they were having a sale and i've been wanting to pick this up but i didn't want to pay normal price for it so yes got this so i'm excited to use this for some everyday looks <gasps> okay my box was about to drop on the floor so the next thing I got, I'm super excited to try. This is actually the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lip Color. And this is in the color Boss. So I've seen it in a video and the color looks super pretty. And apparently this feels amazing on your lips. And don't mind my nails, they are all messed up right now. And the color looks like this. This is right up my alley. I always like the smell. Lipsticks. This kind of smells like chocolate, which is weird. Like, like the Too Faced chocolate palettes. Cocoa powder, that's what this smells like. I don't know if it's supposed to smell like that, but it does. It's super pretty, so I can't wait to try this out. I did want another color, but they didn't have it. And of course, I don't remember the name right now. So that's that. And then next, I've already started using this and it is freaking amazing. So I got the Milani Supreme Cole Kajal, Kajal eyeliner. And this is Blackest Black. And this eyeliner is a twist up, so it's self sharpening. I love that, but this stays on all day. Like, when I wear it to work, I'm good to go. I don't have a bunch of like raccoon eyes or anything. And also, the other one by Milani, I think it's called Stay Put. I should just go look at it but yeah stay put that one works just as well as this one but this one's self sharpening and the one that I have isn't that's from Milani the stay put one so either or they both work amazing for your waterline or tight line or just anywhere on your eyes I recommend this so next I got a bunch of brushes so, I mean, not that I need more brushes because I have a ton of brushes, but I have a problem. I have a brush problem. Um, so I got a bunch of Morphe brushes and yeah, you can just, I don't know. I just wanted more brushes. Um, this one specifically, these two specifically I want to contour with. So this, hold on, I should do it in order of how. I'm applying it okay now it doesn't want to open okay so this one is the M173 it's just a smaller brush but for contouring I just want to place it 
where I want it and then this one is the M530 and I want to blend out the contour with this one so needed these two and then I got two um, blending brushes because blending is so important when you're doing your makeup so yeah I want to open every time I open it it just shuts okay so I got these two brushes and this is the Morphe M505 and the Morphe M506 so this one is just a crease brush and it's a little bit more dense and this one is denser but you could just get into your crease and pack on color with precision so I wanted these two brushes and Morphe just has amazing brushes. So if you're looking for affordable makeup brushes, then I highly recommend the Morphe line. All right, so that is it for the bag stuff. Let me put everything back. I'll just put this baby right here. And for the box, this actually wasn't in my local Ulta. I was gonna say Sephora for some reason. Um, but this is, I got two products from the MAC Selena line. And don't ask me why I didn't get on MAC Cosmetics. I don't know why. I guess I just missed the launch and then everything was sold out. But on Ulta, I was able to snag. This is Dame Un Beso. Liquid lip color. And it's like a pinky, pinky color. So I thought this would be perfect for summer. And of course it's Selena, so I had to get it. And I wish I got more stuff from her collection, but unfortunately it was sold out. I don't know how I missed that launch. I don't know. And then next, the other thing I got was a lip liner, Entre A Mi Mundo. I don't think I'm saying that right. I want to learn Spanish, so if you guys have any ideas on what apps are good to use, let me know. But the packaging is so cute. Look at that holographic, that's nice. But this is just a nude lip liner, and I am all about the nudes, so yes. But that was it for, oh wait, no, I have something else in here. <laughs> I thought that's all I got. Um, I got a ColourPop liquid liner. And this is numero uno. I can say that. And I heard really good reviews on the ColourPop liner. So I had to get it. That's what it looks like. And it's just a liquid eyeliner. So yeah, this is like five bucks. And that is it for this box. All right, so next I'm super excited about what I got from Beautylish. I honestly don't remember everything, so it'll be a surprise for both of us. So this is the box that came in, Beautylish. You open it up and then boom, Beautylish on top. So the packaging is really nice. Anytime I order from Beautylish, it's just really packaged nicely and nothing is going anywhere, so. Lots of um, protection, I guess. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I got was, I don't know how to say this, the Relevi, Relevi, Relevi Lash Curler. And I heard really good reviews about this lash curler and I was in the market for a new one. So it just says it's an award winning lash curler so comes in a cute little pouch so there's quality right there and it's just a nice sleek black oops I can't hold anything black eyeliner so ooh it feels nice though so we'll see we'll see how this works it's award-winning it had really good reviews and I love my lashes like when I curl my natural lashes to be curled. So I got that. I'll let you know if it's worth the money because this eyelash curler was $36. Yeah, I know, crazy. 
The next thing I got, oh, these are samples. So they give you samples with every order. I didn't get to pick the samples, so I think they just throw in what they got. I got a Bumble and Bumble Bond Building Styler. So I'm guessing it's for your hair. And then, oh yeah, yeah, that's it. So for your hair, this is cool. All right, this next thing I'm so excited for. So this is actually the jumbo size of the Hula Bronzer. And Hula Bronzer is the OG in the makeup community. And they package it really well. And I had to get the jumbo size. So look at this. It's so big. Let me get that out of there. This is so big. Look at that. Look at that. I will never run out a bronzer again. And I, ooh, dang, the brush is giant as well. So this is what it looks like. And I just love Hula Bronzer. So I had to pick up the jumbo. And again, it was on sale because normally I think this is like 40 something and I got it for $30. So I'll never run out. Next, I got this beauty set from Call. I swear everything that I got I can't pronounce I don't I don't know what's wrong with me so Caudeli Caudeli I know I'm saying that wrong Caudel Caudeli Caudeli maybe but anyway yes this is what I got so honestly I picked up this set because I really want to try the beauty elixir because there's so many good reviews on this and this alone is 50 something dollars and I got this kit with the full size and two extra products for $49 so I had to pick up the set it also comes with a gel cleanser and then a mask but specifically the beauty elixir is what I wanted and it's supposed to um, set your makeup prep your face before makeup refresh your makeup throughout the day and just be all around amazing so what's it say here it says it smooths smooths i can't say that smooths tightens pores and sets makeup so it has rosemary peppermint and lemon balm for radiance and rose to tone so i am excited to try this let me know down in the comments below if you've tried this before and what are your thoughts on the beauty elixir okay so i got two more things and they're both from jeffree star i can pronounce that jeffree star um i got ooh, i got the liquid lipstick in doll parts so it's just a pink liquid lipstick and I don't know I was going back and forth on it for a while because I don't really wear pinks but I figured if I paired up with a darker nude aligner that this color would be amazing on me so I'm excited to try this color on me and again this is doll parts I love all of Jeffree Star's um, liquid lipsticks they last on me all day it's not drying and it doesn't crack I don't know it just feels good on your lips and the colors are pretty so I definitely recommend Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks and speaking of Jeffree Star and lips I got the gloss so this was sold out for a long time I don't even think they have it on the Jeffree Star cosmetics website but Beautylish still has this in stock I believe and this is huge like oh my goodness let me let me show you the comparison of the boxes like what <laughs> so this is called Shane Glosson and this was from the conspiracy palette um, collaboration with Shane Dawson and literally it's just Oops, I think I'm pulling it out wrong. Um, literally, it's just glass. So it says, for that fresh glazed donut look, juicy, delicious, iconic on its own, or over any lipstick. So, packaging looks like this. Super cute, simple, sleek, and I've used Jeffree Star's... Um, 
glasses before and they are amazing. They're not sticky, they're shiny, and they just feel really good on the lips. Oh my gosh. I think this smells like root beer. Is it supposed to? I don't even know. But I know some of his products do smell like root beer, but I don't know if that was the plan with this one. Or maybe it smells like Coke. I don't know. It smells like soda. It smells like something, so I don't know. But yes, I got this and I'm excited to just keep this with me in my purse all day long because I love that glossy lip. Unfortunately, we have to wear masks all the time and I can't wear my gloss all the time, but when I can, I am. But yeah, that was everything that I got from Ulta and Beautylish in the last couple weeks and I'm excited to try them all and yeah that's pretty much it I always fail at ending the video but again thanks so much for watching please subscribe comment share like you know all that good stuff and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys